Avenger Resolve 20 is out of beta. Now I'm not covering individual features in this video because I think we've already covered them when the beta came out a while back. Now, if you want to see individual things of the things that were added or the list of individual elements, go to the Reddit page and then you can see at this post right here, that's, I think it's pinned. And then you can read each one of the things that are new, but they are pretty much the same thing that are, that have been mentioned on the beta uh, release notes as well. Now, I'm sure there are things that were improved, but I'm not able to just recognize. I don't have everything off the top of my head. But in this video, I want to talk about one new feature that I think deserves to be discussed. So I want you to let me know your thoughts in the comments as well. So one of the first things that I checked after I installed Adventure Soul 20 was like, all right, I want to see the key from editor. So I pressed and I tried to use this little read time animation just to see how it goes. And yeah, we have the keyframes showing up right there. And then we have the keyframe right here. I think it's great, but I do have a few comments that I think I mentioned in a previous video as well. First of all, I think it's great that they added this feature that you can just right click on top of the keyframes and then select them to have the curves right there. Instead of you selecting the clips and having to go up here, it's a great thing. Okay, now, Let's let's test this out. If I were to add a keyframe here for the size and another one right here, I want to be able to right click down here as well if I don't want to go into the keyframe editor just because. I think it would be a great addition to have that. Similar to how you click right here and then you can ease it in. It would be great to have that possibility right there. The point that I think needs to be addressed is why isn't it a little bit more similar to the spline editor in Fusion? And the main thing for this is not exactly just how the curves work, but just this little thing that will definitely make things easier because right now I don't like exactly how it's set up. Well, yeah, you can do everything here and it works pretty great. I think we should add the ability or have the ability to adjust the size right here and also the vertical one. Let me show you what I mean. If you go into Fusion and you have the Spline Editor open, you can adjust the duration or the keyframe amount right here, and you can also adjust the height of, or the number of values right here. And I think that is a missing piece or a missing element on this keyframe editor. Now, in this specific case, when I want to see the zoom keyframe, it works all right. I think it, the size is, is workable, right? There's not really a big of an issue. But right here, if I were to want to edit the curve of the read time that we can see right here. You can see how it's so flat and no matter how much I zoom in, it just looks really weird. So I want to be able to adjust this little thing right here and also maybe in this in the top one or the horizontal one is not that necessary because that's basically what this is already doing, but we should be able to adjust this one as well. Now, if Maybe I'm dumb and I'm not realizing that there is a way to do that. Let me know in the comments as well, and then I just shut up. But that is, I think, the only thing that I've realized so far that could make things a lot better and easier to work with. But they did add this thing that I think is really cool. If you want to check out the other things that have come out, you can check out my video that I did for when the beta came out, or just check out any of the other videos that plenty of creators also made talking about the different features. I've seen that there's has been some improvement to like the AI tools um, for like subtitles and audio system. And I think there has, if I'm not wrong, I think they have also added a few or a bunch of new subtitle stuff right here. Or maybe I'm just imagining and this was already right there of what you think of my idea for the key from editor. And if you think the same, then maybe we can make a big post on the DaVinci Resolve forums or the Blackmagic forums and request it for that feature on a future update. Um, so yeah, that is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.